Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is February 27, 2018. Many people are asking why today's photos of the sun contain a red orb at the 3 o'clock position, rainbow colored flares, and the lens flare contains a center orb dotted with lights. So I took five photos of the sun today with my ancient Samsung phone, version S5, and I used the 4X zoom. What you are seeing now are those five photos of the sun. The rainbow colored flares are caused by one or more prisms installed on some equipment between the earth and the sun that we'll discuss in a later video. Each photo also contains a red orb near the three o'clock position of the sun. It shows up best in this photo. We'll look closer at the red orb in a minute. Right now, we'll talk about the orb in the center of every lens flare of the sun, which never existed before recent times. Anyone can take a picture of the sun and see the light dotted orb in the center of the lens flare. Do not take a picture through a window because this causes additional lens flares. The sun always produces a lens flare when a handheld camera takes a picture of it. Outdoor weather cams and security cameras are often outfitted to reduce or eliminate these lens flares. But why does our sun's lens flare contain an orb in the center dotted with lights? Here is a blow up of those center orbs of all five lens flares of the sun. They are all dotted with lights and the dotted lights are not in the same position in all of the pictures. Only two of them had identical light patterns. Thus, either the orb is rotating or the lights are rotating around the orb. The fact that two pictures contain the identical arrangement of dotted lights indicates that the dotted lights may have a fixed number of positions. That light dotted orb is not on our sun. It is located on an incredibly intense man-made light system located between the Earth and the Sun much closer to the Earth. I call it the flashlight sun. Its purpose is to conceal eclipses which happen every single day multiple times. This orb is black in an eclipse and a near eclipse such as in this photo. When the flashlight sun is in eclipse mode, the orb turns black. It does reflect upon water surfaces, proving it is not a camera anomaly or a lighting problem. In this photo, the black dot is visible on the flashlight sun. A planet has just passed in front of our sun, but behind the flashlight sun, in order to conceal the eclipse. As you can see, the large planet is emerging from the lower left side of the flashlight sun. The planet is made nearly transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. Let's go back to the picture of the sun where the red ball shows up best. <clears throat> You'll see it at the three o'clock position of the sun. I've been watching this and it's been there for at least a year since I've been watching. It is most likely a piece of equipment that works along with the flashlight sun system because in the year that I've been watching this item it has not changed sizes nor has it changed locations. Here is a close-up of the red orb and here is a close-up of a contrast enhanced red orb. The light dotted orb which is the center of the flashlight sun and the red ball at the three o'clock position of the flashlight sun are parts of a man-made system to obscure celestial objects between the earth and the sun rendering them non-viewable in most cases. The planets that are attempted to remain hidden from public view are pieces of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. 